We are take a think of welcome for welcome for the additional for hundred and we still want to know and always a handy face man. I've been related to a wreck in a while, so if you have to do the try not to laugh, I really feel me. I ain't gonna laugh, man. These friends are gonna laugh. So me well, I'm gonna laugh anyway. I feel like laughing because those things were ain't gonna be done on me. So let's see what you got. It's a 40 minute video. We're gonna keep it uh, less than 20 minutes if you So let's don't forget to subscribe to this video. Let's go. These are six of my best friends who are about to start in a real play in front of a real audience. The only catch is they have no idea what they're wearing and they've never seen their lines before. That's because today we're playing trying to laugh, but unlike every other YouTuber, doing it in real life. And the only rule is you laugh, you lose. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a wonderful show for you tonight. We even have a very special guest, Max Dad. <laughs> Tonight we'll be having a showing of Cinderella. Cinderella lives at home with her two sisters. Hello, I'm James. And I am Charles. And we're stepsisters. <laughs> and I'm their favorite little kitty. <laughs> oh, I hear voices! I also hired my YouTuber actor friend Blake, who's here to just torment these boys on stage right now. Dude, <laughs> they're so close to breaking. Yes. Massage them pigs for me. Stepsister, what are you doing? Yes. Uh, I need to see them pigs. Uh, let, let us celebrate with dessert, dessert fit for the queen. Where is this the dessert? Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I get what it's called. <laughs> That's done. That really couldn't have played out better. And every level from here to the end of the video gets so much crazy. I cannot wait to show you guys what we worked on for this. And as usual, the boys will be playing for the glory belt. Mac is the current holder of this belt, but not after today. I had it for five seconds, and now it's gone. I feel bad. The king has been dethroned. This is literally the tangible bragging rights of this group right here. It's a physical embodiment of glory. What's your game plan to hold on to this? Dude, I'm just going to have fun. Okay, you're definitely gonna lose. So what the fuck is this right here is what I like to call the Lullivator. Why is it called the Lullivator? I set up five levels, and these boys have to survive in the Lullivator for the next five minutes. And I'm telling you right now, there is no chance that these boys make it through all five levels without laughing. Level one starts with a familiar face. You recognize that guy? Trevor Wallace. Yeah. Gentlemen. Take your masks off. Oh. Hop on in. Here we go. We're going to go all the way up to nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Where are you from? Switzerland. So floor two starts with a naked man. No. Holding a Nicholas Cage pillow, which is Manuel's least favorite actor. Oh, fantastic. Oh, <laughs> 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 dude, Manuel's already almost breaking. There's nothing for you, Nicholas Cage. What about her? Second level, we've got emo goth girl. Is she part of the shoot? Oh, from uh, what floor? <laughs> wow. Is that you pull the ice? No. Actually, what? Get my right hands? What the? Next time we got your dad with a baby strap to do it. That is not my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Next up is my 13-year-old neighbor, Aleko, with his son. That guy's his son? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. What did I see in the way? You're floating to the pool! Oh, man. You're a little scary. Don't talk back to me! <laughs> <laughs> You're a child! This is so on level 5 is a shark tank pit by none other than my boy Jericho. I'm the CEO 
O-C-F-O-C-I-O-N-C-O-O of Yum Chow. We use completely raw and organic ingredients, fish and milk. I'm telling you, sharks, there's nothing like this on the market. <laughs> Dude, man, well, I was so scared. <laughs> In exchange for 10% of the company. Don't disgust me. Let's take a sample. Mm. 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 He's walking towards us. It's literally just milk and it's fish. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are they actually puking? <laughs> That's the worst thing we've ever had. What is this challenge? <laughs> Okay, I gotta go end this. How are you guys still in this? It's over. It's over. It's over. What happened is there? <laughs> is there anybody at this point who wants to admit that they cracked? Oh, I cracked. Tyler, you're done, buddy. I've lost yes. the glory notes yet again. Welcome to the dark side. <laughs> no. Alright, level number three. So what I've done here is gotten a room full of kids. We're expecting story time. Okay. That's it? There is a little twist. That storybook you see on the chair right there is what one might call an adult storybook. What? What did you put in there? I actually didn't put anything in there. But in this actual children's book that you can literally buy, there are a series of adult jokes that were strategically written to fly over the heads of six-year-olds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I saw this on YouTube when someone said, like, I was talking about, like, Eric reading an adult book to kick before, but, like, they're just trolling him and stuff. We'll put it in there. I actually didn't put anything in there. But in this actual children's book that you can literally buy, there are a series of adult jokes that were strategically written to fly over the heads of six-year-olds. But the catch? My friends will have to read this book out loud to these children who keep their composure. All right, boys, it's time for story time. Oh, Boys, you can go ahead and take a seat right there. These kids signed up on Craigslist to show up and have a story read to them. And the story that you're about to read them is right in front of you. Hey guys, I'm Preston. Page one. Hey, Louie. Oh, the face! Do you want to play with my balls? Yeah, well, when I play with Sally, I always end up with blue balls. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> wow, your balls are so big, I can't even fit them in my mouth. <laughs> my mom's always yelling, Louie, get those balls out of your mouth before you choke. <laughs> Do you want to play with our balls? Sure, but only if I can play with both your balls at the same time. Look, Louie, your dog is licking my balls. <laughs> oh, did you want to fun? He laughed. He's done. The end. I want to read you, Josh. Preston, Josh, you guys move on. What's interesting about you two is that in the Big Brother video, you won the ten thousand dollars, and you had the ten thousand dollars most ruthlessly yanked from your hands. So the glory about winning right here will be biggest for this guy. Give them a comeback story. He's got the plot armor. I can't lie, but I have the plot sword. <laughs> I'm gonna hit him with it. All right, boys, welcome to level four. So we're outside right now to make sure that they can't hear us. This room has been built, engineered to craft these boys, and it consists of an entire fake yoga studio ran by Jeremy. Maya, my friend and a professional stand-up comedian. His outfit's a little... Yeah. I've seen a little bit too much of his personal information. Just wait until you hear his actual voice. And the five-minute timer starts right now. Welcome! Oh, no, here we go. I'm going to start with some breathing exercises. Okay. Not to mention, there's also an elderly man who we've got set up with a big platter that will readily begin peeing on my command. Don't judge me, we've made this entire bit around these boys' sense of humor. Flip over. Turn your body, okay? And then you look at men's eyes. Look at men's eyes, okay? Look at me. You see me? Okay, perfect. Breathe in a little bit. Then make it twerk just a little bit. Just. Uh. Is that you or is that the floor? Did you just fart out of your anus? <laughs> did you fart out of your anus in my castle? I did. I know. Okay. Sounds like two pizzas. That means you are trusting me. I trust you. You trust me? I think so. Get him! Get him out! If you get the fart out of your butthole as well, you get extra credit to come. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, we're watching this live video now. You want to come in here and watch with us? What's your name? <laughs> Kimberly is here with us. Kimberly, what do you think? Oh, one more exercise. Yeah, you, don't you don't like that he doesn't have any clothes on. Oh, no, it's fine. You like that? Oh, she definitely has to it. <laughs> <laughs> Kimberly, have you ever heard of DraftKings? Oh, she definitely has to it. Did you know that DraftKings has launched the first of its kind digital playing cards? Leonard, are you having any issues? Leonard. Leonard, don't begin to cry. <laughs> Leonard, you can tell me. Tell me what's wrong with you, Leonard. Tell me. Tell the class. I'm all here to support you. Get Leonard up. Come on. Come up to the front, Leonard. I did find this bit. Leonard's about to pee his pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Did you bet your son? <laughs> oh my god. <coughs> Leonard, don't kick it around. Stop kicking it around. There's so much. Oh, <laughs> Leonard, don't move towards them. God, Leonard, stop moving towards them. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to cry somebody here. But real quick before that, I have to tell you. DraftKings just launched DraftKings Marketplace where you can buy and sell digital trading cards. It's like the old boring trading cards, but digital. So I actually bought this rare pack for $99. Oh, right okay. Oh. Michael Thomas. Oh. Let's go, Michael Thomas. Cameron Brakes. Drew Locke. And more. Just like me, you can collect your favorite athletes' digital trading cards and then use them in your fantasy lineups each week. It's pretty crazy. Okay, you guys ready? <laughs> you can add to DraftKings now and use code ARAC at sign up. DraftKings takes response to this video, I gotta focus on this. Bro, they're so close. <laughs> it's clear you have to be pissed all over the floor, Leonard. It's more than obvious. <laughs> need to be right Oh, he got pressed. He got it. He got it. He got it. Got it. Let's go. By the way, if you haven't noticed, I've been wearing this shirt all day. You can go to discord.gg slash ARAC and join the Discord server. We had a lot of fun over there. Boys! That was right. right. That was unreal. Preston, unfortunately, you're out. Okay. But you get to hang out with me now. That's okay. Right? Yeah. That's fun. That was worth a lot. Preston okay. is one of my hometown friends. This is his YouTube channel. Make sure you guys go subscribe to him. 100K, maybe? 100K. John, I'm scared for you. This last level is the craziest thing I could possibly come up with. If you laugh during this last level, I get the glory belt. But if you don't laugh, you get to keep the glory belt. So it's you and me directly competing for this thing right now. Let's do it. Josh's false sense of confidence wouldn't be lasting long because the final level was near impossible, consisting of an entire staged wedding in which Josh was unknowingly the best man for. Plus, the bride might be somebody that you know. Welcome to level five. Oh, my oh no. God. Oh, my God. Does that bride right there look familiar to you guys at all? She's kind of cute. She's hot. I have recruited the help of James Charles for level five. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just clarify the stakes of this bit. If Josh laughs, I take this glory belt for my own. But if he doesn't, then he will win the glory belt. Boys, this one is going to be gnarly. This is the craziest bit in era history. I'm saying. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. No, it's a guy. Cut it. I take it back. Cruiser, what are you doing? Switch the veil. Come on. He's done for it. He's done for it. I 
After surviving a fury of bits, Josh was still just hanging on by a thread. I had one last trick up my sleeve. A Twinkie covered surprise you may remember as Max's dad. <laughs> What the fuck? That's what I mean, man. Try not to laugh, man. I'm tired as fuck.